Sivujal Kumar Sen and uh, in this video tutorial you are going to learn about data interpretation or you can say pie chart and the same pretty question which has you can right now read this question has been asked in gate and that's why in this question I am going to share with you how to solve the question I also share with you approach to solve question related to this so before going to share uh, read this question let me share with you what you require to solve such type of problem related to data interpretation and pie chart if you are preparing for the uh, gate examination or other examination too and uh, you understand you wanted to understand concept of data interpretation and uh, uh, or pie chart then let me share with you once you will understand its concept then the probability of solving the question with accuracy is more than 95% that's why whenever you are getting question related to pie chart don't forget to solve the question because you can maintain this accuracy and this type of accuracy is real difficult to maintain in the competitive examination for almost any topic but in pie chart it is possible this is my uh, personal experience if I have solved 100 questions 95 questions I have solved it right that means more than even 95 percent because accuracy matter in the competition examination so don't forget to maintain good accuracy okay so and, and you know minus marking is there that's why I'm saying so you understand it right now let's go for the concept so understand the question is the key to get to solve the question with maintaining accuracy uh, this concept it is applicable for all questions but for this pretty question understanding the question is everything okay now what we have given in this question the pie chart below has the breakup of the number of students we have given a pie chart okay so they said from dif uh, from different departments in an engineering college for the year 2012 okay the proportion of male to female students in each department so male and female proportion is 5 is to 4 this is the key to solve the problem one of the key okay there are 40 males in electrical engineering department they said in electrical engineering department they have 40 male that means 40 boy students what is the difference between number of female students in civil engineering and female uh, and female students of mechanical departments mechanical engineering but that means i have to find out female students of mechanical mechanical engineering and female students of civil civil engineering okay so this is the thing we need to find out from this question i will try to make you understand each and everything this is my promise you just need to focus and need to listen to me very carefully okay so what we have given clue to solve the question there are two clues there are two information those are most important that is this ratio and this one how many male students are there in electrical engineering department and this ratio is applicable for all department this is understood right now there are there are 40 males in electrical engineering department 40 males how many females can be there now look at the ratio it is 40 and 5 is to 4 is the ratio so how many there should be female to maintain this ratio simple just divide by 8 to get it 5 now if we we'll divide by something to get 4 right so how many how much should be there 8 4 32 so in the electrical engineering department we have 32 female students that means girls are you getting my point now most important thing if you have gone through this question till now and you got all concepts and the you 
got this pretty concept to find out total number of female students in electrical engineering department if you done this if you have done this then your job is done that means you have solved the question more than 70 percent now what you have to do but here even more than 20 to 30 percent students will make mistake because they will be in hurry so while solving this type of problem don't be in hurry focus and try to maintain this word what is that accuracy you have to maintain accuracy right so 40 is here 32 is here okay now this is 20 percent total students how much how many total students are there 72 students are there if 72 students is 20 percent then now we don't need to find out number of students in CS department because we don't have any concern with that department, right? Now, if total number of students is 72 for 20%, for 20%, then how many students can be in the mechanical engineering department for 10%? For 10%, how many students can be there? We need to find out. So for 20 percent, 72 students, 10 percent, we have to divide by 2, 36 students. A simple, right? Okay, now let's go for the, this is mechanical engineering department. Now we have to find out how many, yeah, now we have to find out how many students are there. Mechanical engineering department, you got it. Now we have to find out. In mechanical engineering departments, how many students are male and how many students are female? Remember this ratio. So, if we will, we will compare with the electrical engineering department, then we can easily find out it's 20 is to 16. That means male should be 20 and 16. It's 5 is to 4. If I will divide it by 4, then I will get this. So this is for mechanical engineering department. Now we'll go for civil engineering department. It's 30. It's how many? How much percent is? 30 percent. If 20 percent is 72, 10 percent is 36. Then, then for 30 percent, how much would be there? 108. 108 and its ratio would be just multiple these both two with three 60 is to 48 60 is to 48 if you wanted to compare is this right or no wrong just divide by 12 you will get it 5 is to 4 the ratio is right that means whatever we are doing in this question this is absolutely right no need to take tension anything we are going through the right path so you can from this ratio we can say that male candidates are 60 and female candidates are 12 i'm sorry 48 male 60 and female 48 now let's get back to the question what this question said what is the difference between number of female students in the civil engineering department and female students of the mechanical engineering department now we have to find out the difference between 16 and 48 just do this 48 minus 16 so how much we are getting 2 3 32 we are getting so 48 minus 16 is 32 so the answer for this question is how much 32 i hope you understand this i could so i share with you a couple of more problems but i not wanted to i wanted to make you understand the approach you require to solve the problem related to pie chart or data interpret interpretation what you call uh, that that is based on you but this is the question and this question has been asked in gate and uh, uh, of course, I hope uh, in the upcoming examination you can do much better in this topic. That's why I have created this video and I have created a lot of videos related, related to uh, mechanical engineering and of course, get aptitude.
hopefully those videos will help you a lot thanks for watching bye bye see you again in my next video